Hello, and welcome to today's tutorial on adding an opt-in box to your WordPress site. What is an opt-in box? An opt-in box, or opt-in form, is a form you can add to your website that will allow you to collect email addresses, which you can then use to market to people. Here's an example of an opt-in box. You've probably seen these on websites before. In many cases, you'll see an opt-in form on a website inviting people to enter their name and email address, and sometimes other information. In order to subscribe to a newsletter or download a special freebie, like an ebook, article, or a report. When someone enters their information into an opt in box, it gets stored in a database by your email service provider so that you can build up a list of leads and send them email promotions, newsletters, etc. Creating your opt in form. In order to create an opt in box, you first need to start an account with an email service provider. Some popular email service providers include Aweber, iContact, MailChimp, and constant contact. In this tutorial, we will use Aweber. To create an opt-in form in Aweber, first log into your account. Now go ahead and put your customer login and your password and then log into your account. Now once you've logged into your account, to create an opt-in form in Aweber, you're going to go and click on Web Forms right here. Now you're going to want to go down to the bottom here and click on Create a New Web Form. Now once you're on this page, go ahead and scroll down here and right here you can see what your opt-in box will look like right here. As you can see, the default opt-in box requires website visitors to enter their name and their email address. You can add additional fields that visitors need to fill out using the menu on the left-hand side here. To add one of the predefined fields, like website underscore title, US address, etc. here, just click on the plus sign next to the field you want to add. For example, to add a field where visitors need to enter their website URL, click on the plus sign next to website URL right here. Now as you can see right here, the website URL field will then be added to your form. And a box will open up with options to your field here. Now what you're going to do is click save in the options box right here. Once you've set up the field the way you want it. And that field will then be added to your opt-in form. Now you can add as many fields as you want, but keep in mind that you shouldn't add a field just for the sake of adding it. The more things you ask a visitor to fill out, the less likely they will be to opt-in on your website you should only require someone to enter information that you actually need. For example, if you are only planning to market to someone via email, there is no need to have them enter their physical address or phone number. If, on the other hand, you are going to send out physical flyers through the mail, you would want to add an address field. Once you have your opt-in box the way you want it, click Save Web Form right here. Now that you have that saved, you're going to go ahead and go to Step 2. Now on this page, you can create a name for your opt-in box right here and decide what format you want your thank you page and your already subscribed page to use. The thank you page is where your visitor will be directed after they opt in and the already subscribed page is where they will be directed if they already opted in and tried to do so again. Now when you're ready click save web form and when it's done saving click on go to step 3. If you do not save it you will be prompted to before you can move on to step 3. Now on this page, you're going to click on, I will install my form. Now when you do that, you're going to see this. Now here you're going to need to highlight this code. Just go ahead and click and drag where you have it highlighted. Right click on it and select copy. Installing your form on your site. Once you've copied that bit of code, you're ready to install your opt-in form on your website. Now what you're going to do is log into your WordPress backend by adding forward slash wp dash admin to the end of your URL. For example, if your URL is www.mysite.com, you would get to your WordPress backend by going to www.mysite.com forward slash wp dash admin. You can then log in with your username and your password. For more help with logging into your WordPress backend, visit http colon forward slash forward slash www brainhost.com forward slash help forward slash wordpress dash questions forward slash wordpress login. Once you've logged in, you'll see something similar to this. If not, just go ahead and press dashboard up here. Now we're interested in the email opt-in form box. If you scroll down, you'll see it right here. Now on this box, you're going to paste the code you copied from Aweber by pressing control V in this blank area or you can just go ahead and right click and press paste. Now when you're done just go ahead and scroll down here and press save changes. 
Now you can visit your website and you should see your opt-in box right there. When someone opts in using your opt-in box, their information will be saved by your email service provider. You can log into your email service provider account to view a list of opt-ins and send them emails. If you need help managing your opt-in list or sending them emails, contact your email service provider as each provider is slightly different. Now please note, in this tutorial we used Aweber as an example of an email service provider and went through the process of how to create an opt-in box using Aweber. The process for creating an opt-in box will be slightly different for each different email service provider, but in the end you should always get a code to put in your website. Once you have the code, the process for getting the code on your website will always be the same as what is described in the beginning of this tutorial. For specific instructions on how to create an opt-in box with email service providers other than Aweber, you will need to contact that email service provider. And that concludes our tutorial on adding an opt-in box to your WordPress site.